So, um, firstly, I would like to introduce myself a little bit. Uh, my name is Xi Jin Yang, and I'm currently a professor and uh, executive vice chair uh, in the Department of Urology, uh, the second applicated hospital of Bengbu Medical College, China. Um, my title of the lecture is uh, Link C0992 uh, contributes to the agenic phenotypes in prostate cancer by targeting microRNA 3935 and uh, augmenting GUM1 expression. Um, first, I would like to uh, introduce uh, some basic knowledge. Here, uh, there are some RNAs. Uh, first is uh, lana coding RNA. Um, this RNA is very important. Previously, uh, scientists uh, thought it was just the noise in the cell, you know, the noise uh, in the cell. But recently we found that it had very, very important function. Uh, it is more than 200 pp, and it has double chin, and it has a secondary uh, structure, and uh, it has a regulation function. Uh, so what is LINC000992? It's long intergenic non-coding RNA, 00992. Uh, so the second, is uh, SHRA, is short herpin RA. Uh, it is a uh, single chain and it has a secondary structure. And then uh, it's uh, micro RA. Uh, the micro RA uh, is 20 to 24 BP. Uh, it has single chain and uh, similar to SRA. And it uh, also has regulation function. And uh, last is a small uh, interfering RNA, SRRA. I believe uh, we are familiar with this RNA. Uh, it is 20 to 25 BP and it has double chain. So uh, there are so many RNAs. So uh, that's the basic knowledge I would like to introduce uh, uh, to the scientist and first. So uh, research idea, uh, you know, here in my lecture, I would, uh, I would not like, I would not like to introduce the details of the techniques, uh, the details of the methods. Uh, we are all uh, scientists, you know, you are, you are famous scientists. Uh, you know the techniques, you know the methods, and. Uh, I would like to uh, introduce the details of the techniques. I prefer to emphasize uh, the research idea, uh, the research strategies uh, in my lecture. Uh, so uh, in this paper, uh, our research idea is that uh, first uh, we using we used uh, database and uh, uh, bioinformatics methods to uh, predict uh, the function, uh, the structure, uh, the potential budding size of the genes. Uh, and then we proved it, prove uh, our prediction by some method, uh, by uh, biology, uh, by molecular biology methods. So that's our research idea. Uh, this is uh, uh, important. All this research idea uh, is for every gene, every gene in our paper. Uh, it is the same. In other words, for each gene, we first uh, predict its function as well uh, using the database or uh, molecular biology methods. And then we proved it, proved, proved our prediction by uh, molecular biology methods. Uh, that's, a, uh, that's a theme. 
So this is our research idea. In this paper, uh, we have three uh, study objects, three study objects. Uh, that's three, uh, that, was, uh, that was three genes. The first gene, the first gene is uh, link 0992. It's a long intergenic non-coding RNA. That's the first gene. The second gene is uh, microRNA 3935. Uh, uh, it is a microRNA. Uh, and the third gene is GUM1. Uh, it's uh, Golgian membrane protein 1. So the first, uh, this gene, uh, long non coding, long, uh, long intergenic uh, non coding RNA 0092. Uh, this elevated in prostate cancer cell and consistent with the database, but its precise function or detailed mechanism uh, was still not clear. Um, the second gene is microRNA 3935. Uh, you know, it's a uh, iron gene and it is uh, affiliated with uh, microRNA class. Uh, in the database, uh, we found that there were three potential microRNAs possessing the binding capacity with uh, link 00992. So uh, we were binding together. And, and the third gene uh, is Golgian membrane protein one. From uh, in the database, uh, they found that uh, it is it was the target of the second gene. Uh, it was the target of the second gene. In other words, it was uh, downstream uh, of the second gene, and uh, uh, it, it was binding with the uh, second gene of microRNA three nine three five. Um, so uh, taken together, uh, that's a paper. Uh, Let's see the next slide. So this is a, a graphical abstract of this paper. Uh, in this paper, uh, uh, in this uh, picture, you can see uh, three or uh, three study objects, the three genes. This is the first gene, that is the second gene, and this is the third gene. Um, in this paper, we proved that the first gene uh, can act on the second gene and bind with the second gene. And the second gene can act on the third gene and uh, bind with the third gene. So the third gene, GUM1, uh, could make some changes in the cell, uh, such as proliferation, migration, uh, apoptosis uh, in the cell. So this is the paper. First gen, second gen, third gen, and then changes. That's the paper. Okay, uh, so uh, I would like to, in this slide, I would like to introduce the methods uh, in the paper. The most, the most important method is uh, database and bioinformatics. Without this method, no paper. This is very, very important. Um, we predict the function, the structure of the genes uh, using database uh, or bioinformatics and then they proved it uh, by uh, molecular biology methods. But the first step is very, very important, is critical important. The prediction is very important. Um, in, uh, uh, it uh, include this database uh, this is the database and the database and the target scan as well. Uh, 
this is very important. And uh, then uh, other uh, methods include expression level methods such as RT-PCR, RT-PCR, uh, Western blood, uh, you know, uh, you are all scientists and uh, uh, this were very familiar for you. And uh, methods for uh, proliferation, apoptosis uh, and uh, migration, uh, such as CCK8, EDU, tuner, transvale and the wound heating assay or wound closure assay. Yeah, these methods are for proliferation, apoptosis and uh, migration. Um, methods for uh, interplays among these regions uh, include luciferous uh, assays and uh, RNA hutan and uh, rib assays. Okay, so uh, this is the method in this paper. Um, there are now, uh, uh, I would like to introduce the results of, uh, of the paper. Um, here, there are five slides for the results, five, five re uh, slides for the uh, results. Um, let's see the first slide. The first slide is uh, for the first gen of uh, link 00992. Um, it is the same, you know, it is the same. We, from the database, uh, we found that this gene, and it was uh, higher expressed in prostate cancer, prostate cancer cells. This is the result of picture A. Uh, much higher expression level from the database. And then we proved it uh, by RT-PCR. That's the result of the uh, picture B. Here we can see uh, the expression level of this gene uh, was much higher than uh, normal prostate cells, uh, RWPE1. Uh, so it is. Uh, it was proved that uh, it was uh, much higher expressed in prostate cancer cells than normal, normal prostate, normal prost, uh, cell. Uh, in the following experiments, we used uh, a technique of SHRA. Uh, SHRA of the first gene. Uh, that is SH link. 00992. Um, using this SHRA, uh, we uh, knocked it out and I see uh, what happened. You know, that's the method uh, to study the function of the gene. You know, this is uh, the usual, the general method to study the function of the gene. Uh, knock it out and see uh, what will happen. Uh, that's the uh, usual and general uh, method to study the function of the gene. Uh, you are all a famous scientist. Um, you should uh, know this much. And uh, so we use we used SHRA of link 0092 uh, to knock it out and see what happened. That's the uh, uh, that's the result of the experiment of the following following pictures. Here, um, D is cell viability uh, experiment result, uh, and E is uh, uh, EDU experiment result to see the uh, prolif uh, proliferation ability of the cell. And here, this is a result uh, of a tuner 
uh, to see the uh, uh, properties in the cell. And uh, G, Bessen blood result. And H is uh, a transferor C uh, result uh, to see, to, to detect the migration ability of the cells. And uh, picture I, it is the result of uh, wound closure assay or uh, wound uh, healing assay. Uh, to detect the migration ability of the cells. So um, taken uh, together, uh, we can say uh, it was proved that uh, link 0092 is work expressed in post cells and uh, uh, regulates cell proliferation, uh, apoptosis, and uh, migration. So uh, this is the first slide for the first gene, uh, link 0092. So now let's go to the second slide. The second slide is for the second gene of microRNA 3935. Um, um, from the database, uh, we found that the first gene of link uh, zero, a uh, link uh, zero zero nine nine two, uh, or in uh, what's in the uh, cytoplasm in the cell, not nuclear. This is the result of picture A, and the picture B we did uh, fish assay, fish, uh, uh, to prove that uh, this gene of the first uh, the first gene. Uh, was located in the cytoplasm in the cell, not nuclear. And uh, C, picture C, uh, we extract uh, RNAs from uh, cytoplasm and the nuclear, and then we did RT-PCR uh, to measure the expression of the gene in cytoplasm and the nuclear. We can see the experiment level of its gene uh, was much higher in cytoplasm than in the nuclear. So we can say the gene of the um, link 0092 was located in the uh, cytoplasm, not nuclear. Uh, so that's the result of picture A, B, C. And D, uh, they used the, they used uh, molecular bio uh, bio uh, molecular bioinformatics, and found that there were three uh, microRNAs binding with uh, the first gene of um, link zero zero nine and two. So let's go to picture E. Uh, this uh, uh, result of uh, RT PCR, and uh, it was interesting. It was interesting that among the three genes, among the three genes, only this gene was positive. Was positive. See, this bar is much higher. Uh, this gene uh, was uh, the expression level, expression level of this gene was much higher. Uh, the other genes, so it was positive. And uh, also we did uh, experiment using other methods. Uh, in the picture E, we did experiment use, uh, using SHRA and uh, here uh, we use the uh, plasmid uh, to do the experiment and uh, got the same result. And uh, that the result was that uh, microRNA 39535 was positive. Only this was positive. And uh, here, uh, picture G, uh, they did, uh, they did uh, RNA, RNA pull down, I see, RNA pull down um, to detect, to detect uh, and uh, prove that 
uh, to detect the uh, two gene and the prudent uh, the two genes were binding uh, together. So here we can see this bar and this bar are much higher than others. And so, uh, but, uh, proved, it proved that these two genes uh, were enhanced together. Uh, we were budding together. Here in picture H, um, we did some expression experiments uh, to for the uh, microRNA three nine three five mimics and uh, microRNA three nine three five inhibitors. Uh, picture I, uh, we did the rib assay and uh, rib uh, and uh, prove and uh, the first gene and the two gene were budding together in the area of the antibody of anti go 2 And uh, in the picture G, uh, using the uh, bioinformatics, we found the potential, the potential uh, uh, binding size of the first gene uh, and the second gene. Uh, here we did the luciferase assay uh, to detect uh, if uh, the first gene and the two gene uh, had some uh, had some rela relationship with each other, uh, and the result was positive. Uh, the first gene of uh, link zero zero nine nine two. And the second gene of micro RNA uh, 3935 uh, had some uh, inhibition relationship, inhibition uh, relationship. Um, see here, this bar was higher. Um, um, by the way, by the way, uh, I would like to um, uh, point out that. Uh, here they designed the we used the mute mute sample no mute sample for the loose phrase assay. Um, but you know in other assays in other experiments such as uh, um, RNA assays protein assays uh, we didn't design the sample of mute but for loose phrase assay we designed the sample of mute, mute sample. This is different. I, I prefer to point it out here. Okay, so uh, taking uh, together, uh, taking together as the colouring of micro I 3935 uh, can Bond this first thing of zero uh, link zero zero nine nine two. Uh, it was a downstream gene of uh, link zero zero nine nine two. So let's go to the third slide. It's for the third gene of uh, the third gene of GUM one. It is the same uh, from the database. We found that there uh, there were eight genes uh, binding with the second gene of microRNA three nine three five. It was interesting that only this gene GUM one was positive. Only this only this gene its expression level uh, was much higher than others. Uh, in other words, uh, this gene, the uh, expansion level of this gene uh, in the prostate cancer cells uh, was much higher with uh, normal prostate, normal prostate cell. Only this gene of GU1 was positive. That was interesting. And then in this picture B, 
uh, the result is from a database. The, uh, it predicts that uh, the gene of uh, GLU1 uh, in the prostate cancer cells was much higher in normal prostate cells, which was consistent with pic the result of picture A. Here uh, in the picture C, uh, they did RT-PCR and a testing plot uh, to detect uh, the expression level of this gene in prostate cancer cell and normal prostate cell. And the found that it was much higher expressed in prostate cancer cells than normal prostate cell. Here, the, uh, here are WPE1 is a normal prostate cell, not prostate cancer cell. Um, in the picture D, uh, we did a target scan C uh, to find the uh, binding size of the, uh, uh, the second gene of microRNA and the third gene of GLU1. Uh, here in picture E, in picture E, uh, they did uh, they did the RT PCR. Uh, we did the luciferase C. Luciferase. We did the luciferase C. Uh, here we can see the sample of mute. We also use a mute sample. Only in the luciferase C we use the mute sample. Uh, from the luciferase C, uh, we got that the second gene. Uh, of microRNA 3935 uh, and the surgeon of GU1 uh, had some uh, uh, had some inhibition 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 uh, inhibition uh, relationship. Uh, that's the result of picture E. Uh, here, um, picture F. It is the result of RT-PCR uh, and uh, G, it is a result of the Western blood. Uh, the, result, the result of F and G uh, together uh, prove that uh, the, third gene, uh, the three genes, you know, the first gene, the second gene, and the third gene uh, have some uh, relati relationship expression uh, level uh, relationship with uh, each other. Here in picture, uh, in picture H, they did the rip assay to uh, and found that the second gene uh, and the uh, third gene were budding together in the area of the uh, antibody antibody of anti agu 2 This is a third gene, and it is a second gene. Uh, it's the result of the ripple C. Um, here, we go to the picture I. The picture I is uh, actually is a result of the RT-PCR. It's a result of uh, MRI expression level uh, result. Uh, here, uh, this this is very important. This bar, this bar is very important. Uh, that means uh, the effect of SHRA link zero zero nine nine two uh, could be result restored restored by microRNA three nine three five inhibitor. See, this is normal. The bar here is normal, and here getting lower, and here again higher. So the effect of the separation of SHRI of link 0092 uh, could be uh, restored, restored by uh, microRNA 3935 inhibitor. That's the result of picture, uh, picture, uh, picture I. And uh, uh, this is a different cell, PC3, 
and the PC uh, and the DU uh, one four five different cell lines. But the result is the same. Uh, here, picture T, uh, it just changes the methods. We use the Western blot. Here, we use the uh, RT PCR, and here we use the uh, Western blot. But the results are the same. To prove, to prove and to prove uh, the same result uh, that was uh, the effect of SHRA link 00992 uh, could be restored by uh, microRNA 3935 inhibitor. Then the result of picture G. So that's the re that's research. Uh, if we want to prove something, we should prove it uh, by different methods. This methods, this methods to prove only 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 one thing. That's the research. Um, so let's go to the fourth slide. Um, actually, this slide was very uh, familiar. Uh, this uh, uh, first slide. Uh, see here. Uh, you know, here is the uh, tuner transfer when the chloride C. See, uh, this slide was very um, familiar with the uh, uh, first slide. Let's see the first slide. Let's see the first slide. Uh, so first slide. Yeah, this is the first slide. See, you know, this is the first slide. You know, this is a fourth slide. Uh, why, why we were seeing? Because uh, the purpose uh, was the same. Uh, this slide, this, this results uh, was used to prove uh, the proliferation, uh, uh, migration, apoptosis of the cell gene. And, you know, the difference is the same. The only difference is that the first slide is the first slide is to prove the uh, proliferation migration apoptosis of the first gene, and this slide was used to prove the uh, migration apoptosis and my, uh, proliferation of the uh, third gene. Uh, you know the research idea, the research strategy. Uh, was the same with the first slide. So here, I uh, don't need to repeat, repeat the, uh, the, the, the results methods. Taken together, I would like to, to say that uh, uh, link 0092 promotes uh, proliferation, uh, migration, and uh, uh, you know, uh, regulates the uh, cells uh, growth Why? Elevating GU1 expression. That's the result of this slide. Um, let's see the, the, five, the fifth slide. Uh, it is the last slide of the results. Uh, actually, uh, this slide uh, is, uh, is easier, not complicated. Uh, that was the result of uh, the animal experiment. Animal experiment. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, last slide of the uh, result of the paper. And it was the uh, uh, animal uh, experiment result. Uh, and uh, here, uh, I would like to emphasize uh, picture one, uh, picture A. Uh, this is very important for the slide. If we can, if we can understand this uh, picture, uh, we can understand others easier. So let's see uh, the first uh, picture of picture A. Uh, we see, uh, first we see the samples, the samples. This is, uh, this rank was uh, uh, control. This rank was SHI of link 0092. 
and uh, base rank was SHRA link C zero nine nine two plus the K two uh, plasmid. And this rank was uh, SHRA of uh, link C zero nine nine two. Uh, this Google one plasmid. This were the four samples. And here we can see this junk, the tumor, um, the tumor. No, here, this we can see the tumors of uh, the animal experiment. But here, this junk and uh, this junk, uh, the tumor are getting smaller, getting smaller. Here, uh, this rank, we can see the tumor are getting bigger. So uh, this, from this picture, from this result, uh, we can see uh, the effect of SHRA of link 0 9 and 2 uh, could be restored, restored by uh, Google One. This is actually, this is very important result of this, of picture A. So uh, this is the result of picture A and uh, uh, we should remember these four samples. Uh, during the following experiment, the samples are, uh, were the same. Um, here is a tumor growth curve and here is the tumor volume and here was the tumor weight and here was the RA uh, expression experiment and here in the picture E uh, we detect uh, some relative uh, genes uh, expression function by uh, immunohistochemistry, immunohistochemistry. Um, the samples are the same, are the same for sample. Uh, so taken together, um, it is uh, it was proved that uh, link zero zero nine nine two uh, could uh, regulate the uh, the cell growth in uh, in the animal. So this is the slide for the uh, animal experiment result. Okay, um, this is uh, the last uh, slide of the result of the paper. Now take home message, um, link uh, 00992 uh, accelerated prostate cancer cell growth and uh, migration via Exposing microRNA 3935 and therefore um, promoting GUM1 expression, um, providing uh, new promising therapeutic biomarkers for prostate cancer. So, this is a, a take home message. Um, shortcomings. Uh, shortcomings uh, is an uh, animal experiment. Um, there should be uh, some uh, further animal experiment for this product, for with uh, three genes. Uh, link 0092, micro ion 3935, and GUM1. Uh, so in the future, uh, we should do more animal experiments for this project. Um, okay, uh, so that's my lecture today. Um, thanks for your invitation. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for uh, the conference staff. Thanks for um, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, John Wesley, uh, as well as other uh, staffs. Um, And I'm very glad to give this lecture today in the conference. Um, uh, and uh, uh, you are very 